How you doing, guys? All right, this video actually has a story that I wanted to tell about it before I get into the actual video. I have a deal where I make a list of places I have to go, and I mark them off, usually places that are within an hour of the house or less. There's a stream about 30 minutes from my house. It starts in Missouri the first 20 miles, and then it goes through Arkansas. And I don't know anybody that fishes it. Don't know anybody that's ever floated it. And I waded down about a quarter mile. And there was a big long hole I couldn't get around. And I walked up about a mile, but the holes were a lot smaller. Once it hits the Arkansas state line, it tends to get a lot bigger. When me and Virgil decided to float this river, not knowing what Baby we was going to encounter, it was all just an experiment basically, I said, how are we ever going to know if we don't try it? And, uh, you know, I knew there wasn't no 80 foot waterfalls or nothing, but we didn't know how bad it was going to be. We put in, there was a dog down at the river, that thing followed us for three miles, never would leave, just every time we turned around, there he was, he was swimming through the holes along with us. Uh, I kind of felt bad. I probably should have kept the thing. We start catching fish about a mile down. I missed a big three pound smallmouth. Caught several bass. Caught a crappie. I uh, didn't get any goggle eye, but several smallmouths and largemouth. We're having a good day. I predicted it to be only four miles. Well, I'm going to tell you something you cannot measure the distance of a river using Google Maps with your fingers. Stupid idea. Anyway, it turned out to be about seven miles. At least six. Um, 7.30 rolls around. I said, man, I, want, I can't hear the... Why ain't we at this bridge yet? I'm starting to get a little worried at this point. Because it's an hour before dark. 8.30 arrives. I'm really getting worried. We can start barely seeing what we're doing then the worst happens a tree goes all the way across the river and this thing was two or three foot tall the banks were straight up and down on the sides of this tree if it would have been earlier in the day yes I could have got the canoe over it but it was hard to do we had a lot of gear with us and I had to make a decision now I could hear the cars at this bridge but could tell <clears throat> it was still far away. Virgil pulled up his phone and pulled us up on the GPS. He said, I got bad news. We're at least still about a mile, which was about accurate, according to what I'm getting ready to say later. And we decided to back up. We back up about 20 feet, 30 feet or so, where the land was not as steep. We portage our canoe out. Uh, me and him barely got it up the hill, but we did. All of a sudden, we see a cow patty and barbed wire fence and a little dirt road. This dirt road, at the, by this time, it's 845. We can barely see about 10 feet in front of our face. We walk the dirt road using his phone as light. We finally, uh, five or 10 minutes later, we finally find a little farmhouse. And I knock on the door. These people were nice enough to give us a ride back to my car, which was waiting for us at the takeout point and I asked them if I could just come get my canoe the next day after work and they said yeah that'd be fine luckily I was able to draw I had to drive through two cow pastures to get back down to my canoe and amazingly it was fine it was just about foot tall grass but made it through the field just fine I got my canoe uh, the guy was real friendly and I was jokingly said yeah, I guess I could come back here. I just have to get out right here. And I was kind of joking, but <clears throat> he said, yeah, just give me a call. If you ever want to come down here, you can just park your car right here. And so he gave me his phone number. So, but all in all, guys, it's stupid to float a place you're not familiar with. Definitely bring a flashlight was my biggest mistake. And, uh... You just need to know what you're going against. It's a danger every time. I could have been completely stranded. I could have had to leave my canoe. We could have been nowhere near a house, and I could have 
been walking in the complete dark and got totally lost. So it is something to take serious. Um, we were very lucky this time. And we can go back if we want. We'll just get out right there. But anyway, stay tuned. Here's the video. All right, guys, welcome to another episode. Today is Sunday of Memorial Weekend, 20 something. What me and Virgil are doing is, now I've been here three times and waited it, but we have never floated it and don't know anybody who has floated it. So we're taking a chance. The mystery of not knowing what's up ahead. Hopefully there's no 80 foot waterfalls, but uh, we don't know what obstacles we're gonna come across. I've waited here and went down a quarter mile only to get to a hole that's seven foot deep and a quarter mile long. I couldn't go through it or around it. And this place is only 30 minutes from the house, so we're hoping this turns into a new spot that's very convenient for us. It's a small mouth goggle eye stream, but somewhere between here and our takeout point, it changes drastically and turns into a mud bottom and dingy water. But I'm predicting at least half the float will be this good Ozark water. Oh, did you introduce him to our uh and we adopted a dog uh, while putting in the canoe he insisted to come with us we don't want him to go all the way because he won't find his way home uh, above this bridge actually is missouri we are right on the arkansas state line right here so me and virgil got our license and uh yeah, we're going to see what happens guys we're mostly going to catch smallmouth, largemouth and goggle eye and who knows what else you never know might get a catfish or a crappie or something uh, we're gonna we're gonna stop up here because there's a hole where i caught the goggle eye out of right up here there we go oh yeah nice small mouth told you our luck would change here man all right guys first fish small mouth oh Luckily he fell off in the canoe. He's about 11 inches. Buddy, calm down. I'm gonna let you go. You're not even legal, so stop it. Actually, I don't know about Arkansas. Good Lord. All right, guys, the feisty smallmouth. He's only about 10 inches, actually. It is a start, though. First real fish of the day. Our luck is officially changing. No. No, bro. I just had another hit. Man, I miss a lot of them. I think it's because a lot of them are sunfish. Nope. Got him. Large mouth. All right. Spotted bass, actually. All right, guys, spotted bass. Big old pudgy one. <sighs> Not bad, about 10. I'm already wanting to come back. Made it work as long as we don't have a lot of problems. All right, guys, not a bad fish. We are getting a variety now. Smallmouth and spotted bass so far. Now I need a goggle eye. half mile oh my gosh that was awesome I got that on film too man alright he just got a nice small mouth on the whopper plopper guys that's a really nice one actually and I was staring right at your lure too so I think I caught it as long as my camera was centered right he's big, definitely bigger than the one I just caught by an inch or two anyway Putting up a hell of a fight, didn't he? It's not bad at all, man. That was cool to watch. And I'm stupid for not bringing mine. <laughs> I'll get a good photo of you, man. Once you get him off, I'll have to zoom because of how far back I am. And I'll end up sending you, I'll send you a good picture. Wasn't such a pain, I'd take my phone out, but I'll get pictures from this. It's still blowing us up a river because of the hole is so calm 
Now we are both on the board, guys. I think that's my first one, smallmouth right Really? There. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I'd say he's 13. All right, good job. We all, we are all on the board, guys. It's colorful anyway. Yeah, you can see like gold specks all over. Yeah, and all the all black things. streaks and dots and stuff. That's a nice looking one. Not bad at all. It was cool to see. I'm usually not watching your lure, but I heard it hit the water and I looked over and I, then I just said the hell with it, I'll stare at it. And luckily I got that on film, I think. Pretty sure I did, the strike and everything. Well, guy, but hey, that might be a goblin. No, small mouth. No, large mouth. We got three kinds now, guys. Spotted bass, small mouth, and large mouth. I thought it was just messed up at first. I thought maybe the hook went around the braid. Because it hit that little bell. Yeah, so I thought it screwed it up, and then I seen the white, white belly on it. We're not doing bad then. They're adding up. You want me to? Yeah, it's too small anyway. We'll get better fish on camera. All right. out for this guy there is no way I'm getting this fish off without pliers. all right guys nice little Ozark smallmouth about 11 this time pregnant female no big and jet but we're still having fun at least we're getting numbers at least it jumped and put up a fight all right buddy let's watch her swim away Swim away to fight another day. You definitely got a better chance than I do over down here. Oh yeah, I was I was staring right at you too, man. Oh wow, that's a beast. That's a beast of a largemouth, guys. Just slammed his plopper. He's two and a half, three pounds. I'll definitely get a good photo of you this time, man. Good job, man. Now we're on them. I think that's the one that followed my shit. Yeah. That's a nice bucket mouth there. Of course, someone has to call you right when you're getting a big fish. <laughs> Don't call during the boring time when we're standing there. <laughs> Guys, what a nice large mouth for a little creek on a plopper. He's two two pounds turn a little that way your body there you go it's a nice fish man heck yeah all right let's see if there's some more that turned the day around a little bit didn't it guys we are battling they're adding up yeah smaller fish and they're smaller that was the biggest one so far we knew it was going to be good when we saw that jump up. Yeah. That means there's another one down there that big, too. He was a good size when that jumped. Tennessee, probably. Oh, my God. I knew I saw your line fishing me. That's a largemouth this time. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, 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 guys. I got a nice one. Oh, my. It ain't the small mouth I'm wanting, but I'll take him. It's a real large mouth, not a spotted bass, too. Oh, pink pulsar for the win, guys. I tell you what, here. I 
want you to take my camera here in a minute as soon as I lip him anyway. Got it. Oh, two and a half anyway. We have officially had a good day now. Look how freaking fat his back is at his tail. Yeah, you'll probably have to zoom a little out of that, maybe not if you hold it out. That's what it's all about, guys. I just missed the biggest smallmouth I've had in many years, but you know what, at least I got him afterwards. This is a good hole, man. I think it's because it's coming down that hill like that. Whew. Heck yeah. I ain't cutting them off, am I? They turned around, guys. All it took was us coming to one hole. We was catching nothing but 11 inch fish and under, and not very often at that. And boy, you just come to one hole, it can just change on you. That small mouth's gonna break my heart though, still. My lure's already ruined. It pretty much slims out back here. It looks like it's getting narrower. Croppy. Holy cow, man. Well, guys, new species. I can't believe I just caught a crappie. You get out. Oh, he bit my damn tail off. You little bastard. Lasted one fish. Nice little black crappie, guys. Probably about six or seven inches. I didn't think there'd be crappie in, up in here this far. This turned out to be a good variety. I'm missing goggle eye still. This was an unexpected catch. So heck yeah. Oh, shit. oh man. Didn't even feel it. That's a nice one. He was coming with the current. <laughs> oh, he's fighting with you, yeah. Huh. Not a bad fish either. He's a he's a pound anyway. Another largemouth guys. About a pound. On the what plopper? No. Oh the frog. Six cents swim bait. Oh, uh, okay. With a now unbladed jig head. Uh. Oh my, oh my God. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Too bad it ain't a small mouth. Dang. It's a spotted or a mean mouth. Well, no, it's a large mouth actually. Are you kidding me again? Okay, so I will stop overhand casting, I guess. Yep. All right guys, nice large mouth, about a pound, 12 inches. It is a large mouth, not a spotted. There's more largemouth than spots in here. That's one rarity of streams around here. All right, not bad at all. I'll take him. Definitely take him. What is that? Guys, another largemouth. We've only caught one spotted bass today. They're bound to kick in somewhere down river though. Because we are gonna f be fishing the fall line of this stream where it changes the lowland. The last two miles, we'll start probably catching a lot of spots. But for right now, let's enjoy these largemouth and another 12 incher. Right when I consider changing my bait to a spinner bait, I catch a fish. Now that I caught the crappie, I really don't want to change to a spinner bait yet, but I'm going to. We get down river, it gets really dingy. 
that just screwed me over big time. That was going to be my number one bait for the last two miles. Alright guys, another 10 inch large mouth. Oh yeah, another largemouth guys on the plopper. Now we've had, we've officially had a decent day, man. We caught probably what, 15 fish by now, I would think. I'll zoom here in a second. He's not a bad one either. Heck yeah, man. Solid pound anyway. Man. I have a feeling the smallmouth might be done by how slow the river's getting. Finally got one, man. Finally got a long ear on a bandit. Ooh, I about got a hook in my finger too. Him started wiggling right when I was trying to take him off. All right, guys, nice little pretty long ear. Well, you let me hold him. Come on, dude. All right. Now you got dirt all over you. All right, we gotta go figure this out. All right, guys, Virgil with another large mouth on the swim bait. I may end up taking the, actually it's a spotted bass, nice, nice spotted bass though, heck yeah man, probably 13, yeah, As far as like, oh my God, oh my, oh God. whoa, oh my God, holy cow, guys! I got, I got to loosen my drag, or he's gonna break me off. I have no dip net either. I got a pair of gloves though, guys. This is, if this is, oh, oh it's a long nose. Never mind. I was gonna say if that's a spotted, it's a state record, but it's a long nose. Yeah, just get us uh, either side. I'd go to the right, just go to the right. Well guys, I may not have got that giant smallmouth I've been after. Oh God, oh man, oh God. Oh my God. Oh no. Let me get out. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? You don't have to do nothing. I can get him over here in this calm spot. Uh, actually, yeah, get in my very front little pocket on the backpack, and there's two pair of, glo a pair of gloves. They got like a black bottom on them where I can handle them better.
I, d I thought I was hung on your line. Yeah, the very front small one. There's a pair of black gloves, uh, some kind of gloves in there. He's got to be almost 40 inches. That's a pretty one too because it's a clear stream. He's got spots all over him. So fucking awesome, dude. God, that's a giant man. Over here, probably it's a little. Yeah. You want me to hold this? Yeah, for a second. That's. A, I can't believe I got him on 12 pound line, man. It's just I got lucky the way the crankbait is in there. Guys, this is a nice long nose gar for an Ozark stream, without a doubt. If this would have been a spotted, it would have been a state record, and I thought that's what it was. It's a nice long nose. He's got to be damn near 40 inches. I gotta turn him to get the damn. Need some pliers? No, I don't think. Got it. What a beauty, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ooh. What a beautiful long nose, man. Look at them tail. Yeah, dude, that is awesome. His freaking beak is honestly like nine inches long, just his beak. What a beautiful, absolutely long nose. awesome. Dude, was that him? Was that him just like grunting? Uh uh. I didn't hear it. I heard something. Man, look at that tail. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna, beautiful, dude. Yeah, just make it where I take up the whole screen, but yep. I don't cut none of the fish off. What a catch, guys. I may not have got my small mouth, but this really helped. That's you know, awesome. Now we've had a good day and a variety. We got the crappie, and I had no idea I'd get this, man. That's a beast. Heck yeah. I ain't going to measure it, but he's 36. I'm going to say he's 36. Don't you think? About three I feet even. He ain't going nuts, man. Oh, man. Can you imagine if I would have been using six pound line? It would have never happened. Or a single hook. Let me sit that down the first second. I wouldn't have got him with the, without the crankbait. Dude, 42? 42 inches. Oh, my gosh. 42 inches, guys. Forty-two inch long nose, guys, and he, this is the most colorful one I've ever caught. He's got yeah. spots all the way down his body, only because it's clear, clear water. Oh, I'll get him back in. Dude, he came up from the deep. Just you didn't even see him until uh, he freaking I it was slammed it. Your line. It was awesome. There he goes, right back up where he came from. That's a freaking big gar for here, man. Right, he just went back upstream, didn't he? Yeah. That's what it looked like. Right back up where he came from. Guys, this long ear is just absolutely gorgeous. Wowzers. He's every damn bit of seven inches, man. It's big for these. Just look at that flap. Trying to be in a spot where I got shade, but it ain't happening. There we go. What a beauty. Oh. Nicer. Nicer. That's the biggest smallmouth of the day, I think. Besides the one that fell off. Eh, maybe not. It's not bad, though. Pretty fat. The smallmouth were not done. They go down further than we thought. I'm going to 
to have you because I can't hold him and be hard. I'll wait till you get it up. It's so swift for the plopper. <laughs> oh, there, here's the current. Not a bad one. He might go 12. All right, we're going to get her back, guys. I finally got a half decent smallmouth. Still sad over the one I lost, though. Man, I knew there'd be one set in here, though. You can tell. The whole thing. Gosh, guys, I wasn't recording. He just caught a nice spotted bass on a top water, and I'm stupid and didn't have the camera on. I missed the blow up and everything, man. That's a nice spotted bass, though. He's pushing two pounds, I bet. Man. Guys, at first he was reeling his plopper in too fast and it couldn't keep up, but he still attacked it. And then he threw it back and just kind of went a normal speed and boom. That sucks I missed that. I forgot to have the camera on.